Hey guys, I'm Chad Hoover. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to talk to you about what I consider the most important factor to fishing success. Oh yeah. This is my kayak. Get yourself one. Fish on! Yeah! Mm. Oh my god! Look at that tank! That's a toad, brother. Golly! All right, so guys, in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about what I consider the most important factor to being successful when it comes to fishing, and I've got an acronym to help you remember it. That acronym is MAPS, M-A-P-S. The M stands for um, map study. You need to do map study for your pre-trip planning. The A stands for app study. The P stands for public search for information, and then the S stands for sequencing. So let's jump into that and talk about how you can use this concept to be more successful every single time you go fishing. First and foremost, I think confidence is one of the number one keys to being successful on the water. And I can't tell you that I've ever been confident going to a spot that I didn't know anything about. I think by, by design, if you go somewhere that you don't know, you're automatically less confident, you're insecure, and you, you feel lost. And that lost feeling leads to anxiety. But if you've got a plan, if you've been on the Navionics app, or if you've been on Google Maps, or if you've been on you know, Navionics on your, your laptop, and you've gone through and you've developed what you consider a good uh, series of places that you need to check, then you're going to be more confident about going to those places. You're going to be heading to a spot that you know contains certain features. Instead of just wandering around hoping to find something, you're going to confirm that the things you already suspected were there are there. And then if they're not, you don't lose your confidence because you've got several places that you plan to check. So once you get there, you're basically looking for food, oxygen, you know, you know, temperature, and, and then basically that's how you find the fish once you get to the spot. So map study is a big way to truly take your confidence to the next level. And then each time you go fishing, you'll get better and better at using that map study to dial in what you see on the, the map or the app versus what you see when you get out there uh, in real life. So to me, map study is crucial to being successful and it's really crucial to being successful consistently. So add map study to your game if you haven't done it yet. Lots of resources out there. Again, Navionics, Google Maps, uh, most of the mapping software, for all of the major brands uh, have an online version that you can study. There's also nothing wrong with taking your graph and bringing it in the house and connecting it up. Maybe you don't have a, a transducer connected, so you gotta bypass that, but actually using the software in your graph to just scout and mark your waypoints, and it's a really good way to you know, take your fishing to the next level before you ever hit the water. Now, App Study is another big one for me because there's so many tools and resources uh, at our fingertips, and, and one of those resources is, uh, is called Bass Forecast. Now, I'm not affiliated with these guys in any way. I found the app, fell in love with the app. I've used a number of different apps to aggregate all the things that, that Bass Forecast puts at your fingertips, uh, but the number one feature that I love about it is it gives you sunrise, sunset, moonrise, moonset, and then you can click through the pages and it will show you the feeding times, uh, and it'll show you basically the primary, the secondary. Uh, it also recommends some presentations and areas that you should start um, focusing on based on the data that they have compiled over the years from a, a number of really experienced pro fishermen and folks that have helped them develop the app. So Bass Forecast is a really good resource to give you those feeding times, to give you those uh, things that you, you know, you have to look four or five other places to find and it aggregates it all into one spot. And I'm a big fan of using so lunar time, which we'll talk about when we get to the S, you know, which is sequencing, but app study, learning when, where, why, uh, and how you should be fishing is a good way to, uh, to level up your confidence and leveling up your confidence is a really good way to consistently be more successful. Now, the P in this acronym stands for public search. Now, I don't know that this is not intuitive, but I see people all the time who don't do this. So I wanted to share with you that get on YouTube and search I don't know, kayak fishing Gunnersville, and you're gonna find videos where folks like myself have shared their insights on you know, where, when, how, and why you're gonna catch fish at certain times in certain places. And there's a wealth of information at our fingertips. So in addition to that, you can find articles, you can find videos that are embedded in websites that are not necessarily just on YouTube, but a public search for information to me is a real key uh, to being successful. And when, usually when I get to the P, I actually start back over right? I don't usually start 
by influencing the way that I want to fish with the public search. I usually do that, like I said, maps, apps, then I do the public search, and then if I find something in that public search for content that intrigues me, I'll go back and start that process over, going back to the maps, going back to the apps to develop my game plan. Now, the S in this whole thing is what I call sequencing. Um, if you use the astrological data, the solar lunar times, the feeding times, in conjunction with your maps, and in conjunction, in many cases, with your public search, you're gonna set your sequencing up right. And here's what sequencing means. To be in the right place, at the right time, doing the right thing. So if you know that your feeding time, your primary feeding time is a little bit later in the day because it's a full moon, and it's been pretty cold overnight, and you're expecting the bite to be better later in the day, you might not even wanna start fishing until 10, 11 o'clock, but what you really want to key on is not going to those core places, those places that you expect the fish to be until it's the time that you're going to have the chance to be the most successful. One key factor that I can use for the S is search. You can search during the sequencing, during the times that you shouldn't be. Here's an example. Let me, let me back up a little bit. Don't just go straight to the good spot even if that good spot is the only spot that you expect to catch fish until it's the right time. So if you can't wait to get on the water till 10, 11 o'clock, you know, get there and go search, go cover some water, go look for those secondary spots, go look for those places that may not show up on a map or uh, an app or a Google, you know, search, and then set your time up. This is why it's called sequencing to where you end up at the right place at the right time. For example, right now, the fish are pre-spawn. We've had a cold front come in late. It started to warm up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna go straight to the flat first thing in the morning and expect to catch them in two inches of water. What I might do is go graph a, an offshore grass line looking for those fish. And then I know, okay, if these fish are on this offshore grass line right now, and I'm expecting the feeding time, you know, to be 11, 11 30, 12 o'clock uh, early afternoon, then I know that those fish are probably gonna be on that deeper grass early in the morning. So I might throw a chatterbait and slow roll it through there, a lipless crank, a crankbait, or I might just throw a jig or a plastic and just let it set out off the edge and hope to catch those fish in the right place at the right time, you know what I mean, using the right presentation. So sequencing is important. Um, too often we go straight for the kill, you know, early on. We go straight to our best spot, and a lot of times what will happen is, is we'll go to our best spot at the wrong time. Okay, if the feeding time's later in the afternoon and you go there early and you don't catch anything, you've educated the fish, they weren't really ready, and you simultaneously eroded your confidence because you went to the right spot, you just went at the wrong time or you did the wrong thing. So if you can't resist the urge of going to the best spot right out of the gate and the feeding time's later in the day, get there and slow way down and drag a plastic, drag a, a worm, dead stick a jig, do something, but you wanna fish your off-peak times very slow. You wanna fish your peak fishing times with those power fishing presentations. So again, plan on doing some map study, get into the game of doing some app study and using those apps as a resource. Do a public search for information to where you're gonna see and hear some things that are get, gonna get you excited and build your confidence and then focus on using all that information to sequence your trip so you're in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. So if you remember the MAPS acronym and you focus on pre-trip planning and you focus on getting your game plan together before you hit the water, I promise you, you'll be more successful more often. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Uh, give me some feedback. Tell me the things that you thought, man, I never thought about it like that. Or, hey, dude, you completely forgot to talk about this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.